The African sun blazed fiercely in the afternoon sky, and Small One was hot and thirsty. The young elephant peeked through her mother's knees, hoping to see the water hole. But a forest of legs like tall gray posts blocked her view. Her family surrounded her, protecting her from lions and other predators. They think I'm a Toto, a baby, she thought as they plodded toward the water. Small one followed her mother, stumbling now and again over a large clump of grass or a rock. She could hardly wait to reach the river. Like all elephants, she loved the water, not only to cool her off and to quench her thirst, but to play in. Are we almost there? asked Small One. Just a little longer, her mother rumbled back, stroking the calf with her trunk. Small One thought greedily of how she would drink all of the cool water and roll in the soft, dark mud. I hope there'll be other calves there to play with, said Small One, as her feet danced with impatience. There will be, promised her mother. Today, I'm going to use my trunk for drinking like the older ones, Small One reassured herself. So far, all I've done is blow bubbles. Suddenly, she saw that the herd was moving faster. One elephant trumpeted shrilly. Then another. Elder brother started to run. In another moment, as they smelled the water, the elephants were almost stampeding in their rush to the river. Small ones struggled to keep up. Big Mama, the matriarch of the herd, got there first and waded in the shallow water. The rest of the herd lumbered behind, trumpeting loudly. They milled around, greeting friends and relatives from other family groups. They sucked water through their trunks to squirt down their throats and to spray themselves and each other. Another cow elephant that was proudly showing her twins greeted Small One's mother. They were very handsome, but Small One could hardly wait to begin playing. She moved carefully away from the older elephants, blowing bubbles as she went. Sometimes she managed to suck up enough water with her trunk to squirt down her throat. She climbed on her big sister, who was lying in a shallow mud hole. When her sister rolled over, Small One slipped, splashing into the water and its soft brown bottom. Small One giggled. This is fun. She rolled from side to side, covering herself with a layer of cool, thick mud. She could see her aunties glance her way as she drifted slightly away from the herd. Her mother rumbled a warning to be careful. Small one pretended not to hear. I'm big. I don't have to stay close to my mother all the time, she trumpeted to no one in particular. Slowly the elephants began to go ashore. They climbed out, dripping mud and water, and the bank became even steeper and more slippery. Small one noticed that the twins needed help. They wrapped their trunks around their auntie's tails, pulling themselves safely to shore. Small One smiled. I can climb out by myself. Small One's mother must have heard her. Come out, Small One, she called. The calf tossed her head. In a minute. Proudly, she sucked up water to squirt down her throat. I'm big, she repeated. Her mother called again and swung her front foot. Small One knew what that meant. Her mother was about to come after her. It was time to obey. Small One started up the steep bank, but she lost her footing and slid back into the muddy river. Hoping no one had noticed, she tried again. This time she made it almost halfway before sliding back. She pulled her front feet out of the mud and took a step. But now her back feet were stuck and she fell back. 
Again and again she tried to climb the bank, but each time she slipped back. Small one was scared. Help! she squealed. Her mother hurried toward her, rumbling orders loudly. At once, two aunties got behind small one and pushed. Her mother reached out her trunk, and small one clutched it tightly with her own. With a loud slushing sound, her feet finally came loose, and the calf found herself in a heap on the shore. Small one's mother carefully checked her to make sure she wasn't hurt. Then she wrapped small one sharply with her trunk. Next time, listen to me. Tearfully, small one scooted to her safe place among the tall gray legs. The herd plodded away from the waterhole to feed and to rest. Small one said, I'm sorry, I didn't obey you, mother. I guess I'm not quite ready to be big. Her mother stroked her gently. When the herd paused, small one peered up at her mother. I didn't just blow bubbles today. I sucked water with my trunk like you do. Her mother patted her on the head. I know, you're growing up. Reaching up with her tiny trunk, small one took a bite of juicy grass from her mother's mouth. Someday she would be big, but for now she was glad just to be small one with her family all around her. This has been Small One's Adventure, written by Doris Mueller, illustrated by Parker Fulton, music and narration by Greg Paxton. <laughs>